Hello everyone, this video is basically me offering Realism Overhaul configurations for Planetary Base Inc, which is a long time mod that offers parts in a unique form factor, this form factor right here in particular, and they are very conducive for making bases. It's very modular and has a lot of options, and for instance has a little cupola front for this, it also has a planetary central hub, which actually needs to go like that or something. And I've also got a Textures Unlimited configuration for it, which is why it's shiny and not stock-alike. Uh, well, not as stock-alike. And so I'll link that in the video description as well if you wanted to use it. Uh, but yeah, uh, the idea is these are a wide variety of base parts and other interesting uh, parts like these modular inline storage parts. And uh, these can allow you to put like this fuel container on like that. And also there's like batteries and there's supposed to be a whole bunch of life support containers, but they're not showing up. That is a mystery that I don't understand yet. So these are ore containers and they do in fact contain ore and uh, all right. And yeah, so there are options and many laboratories and habitats. So that's science. This, this one deploys. Now, if they deploy, I've had to use rescale factor in order to scale them. The main thing to uh, make them realism overhaul, real, realism overhaul compatible is to scale them up so that they're like more human scaled or me more reasonably scaled. Even, even now, they're not that huge. This was human size for four people sitting in there and they can stand up in there as well. So that gives you a rough idea. Basically, I think people could stand up in these, hopefully. Uh, but before, they were very cramped indeed. I've also scaled up their masses because, you know, if you scale up their physical nature, you better scale up the masses. So that's two meters. So yes, people could stand up in there, but it's not a huge amount of space. And, but it was necessary to scale it up for sure. And because I scaled up, it, they actually had modular tanks in originally. So it was actually... Uh, real fuels compatible but once i rescaled it of course i had to change the modular tanks so that they had the correct volume and so now you have fuel tanks like that and there are there's also an engine pod if i can find it uh but there are there have been a lot of parts here we go landing assist um this module well it's interesting oh uh, because it's full of fuel so it's got fuel in and it's got a methane oxygen engine and uh, 345 seconds of ISP as a methane oxygen system and uh, well uh, it seems like we have some delta V in some direction but it's uh, the stock thing is reading some delta V there but this isn't because we're in the wrong direction so anyway uh, but yes you have engines as well and even uh, landing gear so attachable landing gear but I think they have to attach to certain things they're not surface mountable, unfortunately, or these modules don't let them be surface mountable. Uh, but yeah, uh, the rollable landing gear, they have motors so they can roll your modules around. One of the main features of Planetary Base Inc. And you, that's it extended and it's retracted like that. So uh, how we put them though is a whole other business. There's, there's even a garage, but I don't know how to work with that. There's a nuclear reactor. I'm just sort of doing this haphazardly. There's this kind of storage for the same modules. So the modules that we have here could be placed over there like that. Um, the fuel container is configured as a service module tank. And uh, otherwise the other fuel tanks are default or cryogenic. If it's a liquid fuel container, it's just cryogenic. If it's a liquid fuel and was a liquid fuel and oxidizer container, it is now default. And so 375 megajoules of electric charge there in that battery. Lots of stuff. And yeah, xenon container is just for your normal electrical propulsion system. Inline drill even. Oh, that one, is, uh, that one is, uh, has an animation, so I have to scale it differently. That will require the, the refact, uh, rescale factor instead of the regular scaling. That's been a problem I've had. Uh, I will definitely fix that before I put, uh, put the configuration in the video description. Let me get that name. 
But yeah, some of them I just couldn't do the normal scaling with. And otherwise, everything seems to be okay. And so I'll put the realism overhaul configuration and the textures unlimited configuration in the video description. This is not going to be RP1 compatible though, because I don't know where to put it in the tech tree and I don't know how to price things like these. So that's a whole other thing. And maybe the RP1 people can take a look at and integrate it somehow, but we'll also need contracts to use them with. Currently there is no making bases on other planets contracts. So the utility of them in RP1 is limited. If anybody wants to use the, the configurations, by all means, I consider configuration files to be community assets, not anything that I'm particular about. So any of my configurations can be used anywhere. Uh, the models and textures are a little bit more I want credit for kind of thing, but not, not a problem with the configuration files. I hope that's generally the case for people. So uh, yeah. Uh, there is a quirk though, and that's that with the habitats, for some reason Kerbalism is not placing the food, water, and oxygen in. I placed a tank in so you can sneak the food, water, and oxygen in yourself. Uh, but, uh, oh wow, this is really messing up the mass, isn't it? Hmm, I think I'll need to set that differently. I think because it has a uh, real fuels tank in, it just masked it to the real fuels tank instead of actually uh, using the mass that I had given it. So I'll fix that. So I've got a few more things to fix, but once I've fixed everything, it'll be linked in the video description. And there'll probably be other things I have to worry about. I still haven't figured out where it's dumped the life support tanks. There were those wedge-shaped tanks for life support, and they don't pop up when I type in planetary base. Let me just say life. Nope. LS. Well, LS has quite a lot of other things. So there are parts that are in this pack that don't seem to be popping up. So I am going to fig try and figure out what happened to those. And I'll try and make sure the masses uh, are right on the modules that have fuel tanks. I mean, it's weird that this one has that problem when the surface, the big module does not. Because the big module also has a tank in yeah, this also has a real fuels tank, so... Oh, but it's reading the wrong mass here. Um, see, these are the problems that we have. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, it's not got the right mass here, even though it's got the right mass here. Figure that one out. Well, I'm gonna figure that out and I'll fix it. Okay, so hopefully crisis averted. Uh, now... It reads 23 tons, so I think I have solved that problem. I think I've solved the problem, but you know, you never know for sure. This should be an extra 5 tons. Alright, it is an extra 5 tons, and uh, so forth. These aren't, again, very huge modules, so I think 5 tons for this is fairly reasonable in terms of its size. Again, uh, compared to a relatively small shuttle cockpit, the uh, Taurus cockpit, or let's say this shuttle 2N cockpit, uh, you know, this is a little bit bigger and it has a lot of instrumentation inside, so uh, that was only four tons, actually, I said it too. And so this one was also a four ton cockpit, so five tons for that's not too bad. And um, yeah, so hopefully all the parts are alright, but it's a lot of parts, and I'm still trying to figure out where the life support ones went off to. Maybe they don't appear unless you have TAC life support in. I've got Kerbalism in here. And so maybe they decided to disappear because we have Kerbalism instead of TAC life support. But really, uh, food, water, oxygen containers are all just fine for Kerbalism too. So yeah, I'll check where those have gone. And for now, the RO configuration and textures and limited configuration will be in the video description. I intend to use these for a series, hopefully. I always intend to use a lot of mods in various series, but never end up actually doing it like extra planetary launch pads. If you have suggestions for other mods that you would like to see Realism Overall configurations for, I will take a look at them. Some mods are a little bit more difficult than others, and we will see. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.